Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today I want to kick it old school and do some raw first impressions of a mod which I actually think you guys might be interested in. This is something that I've kind of wanted in the game for a long time and when I saw this I kind of thought this would be perfect for a YouTube video. So today we're actually taking a blind first look at the Vending Machines mod. And you know what, if this mod is amazing, I'll even add it to my modded series on Chippy's Couch. Because I know you all want that to come back, and it will really soon, but this may make the cut. So what this mod does is it converts NPCs into vending machines. It's very aperture science, right? But the good thing about this is you can keep all of your NPCs, you know, in separate parts of the world in ugly houses. And then you can have like a confined area, maybe over here, with just a bunch of vending machines so that it's nice, quick and convenient. And they even have one for the nurse. So this is how I believe it works. This is the soul extractor. It does 13,398 damage. It kills a town NPC with this to obtain its essence. So this is actually something you can purchase from the skeleton merchant. And what this does is, if you kill an NPC with it, it will give you its essence. So, we need to pick an NPC, right? The first one to slaughter. We got Witch Doctor, Stylist. Ooh, I don't know which one to go with. Maybe this one, right? Maybe Roderick, because I am in need of a new cloth ear on this world. One that is named James. Right, well, you need to get back here. <laughs> he knows about it. He knows. And he's left. Right, okay. Be gone! <laughs> Soul of the cloth ear and a red hat. Oh my god, guys. It's my life essence. I wish it was red, though, because it would make more sense. The essence of some town NPC. Some, right? Come on. <laughs> the cloth is the OG. Right, so you take this, and with some iron bars, some glass, some wire, and some switches, it should make a vending machine. Oh, wow, okay. Easy easy vending machine. Sells health and mana potions. And then there's this one. Vending machine empty. So this is actually due to the way it's coded. It's called vending machine empty, but if you actually get it, it's the cloth ear. Really clever, right? So let's place these two down. I don't know what these look like or how the uh, UI works for them or just how they operate in general. So I will be excited to see. So let's put this one down here. That's kind of cool. I mean, the sprite fits in really well. Let's put down the, uh, the easy vending machine as well. So if I right click on this one, as you can see, a bunch of potions. It even sells heart reach potions. So I wonder if this is affected by your stage of the game. Then let's check out this one. The cloth ear one. Wow, so you can really just cut <laughs> you can cut the cloth ear out and just stick with this. So let's see, do they have any different sprites for different NBCs? That would be something that would be really nice. So I think the person who made this should pair up with like an artist in the community and make vending machines for different NPCs. It's very niche, but I think it's kind of cool. So reforge machine allows you to reforge weapons and accessories. Oh clever. Okay, that's really cool. And then, where's my last essence? Can I make any more? Oh, I'm actually out of iron bars. Oh my god, I'm going to have to resort to stealing some. Let's see. Uh, you, I don't know where the... Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. I haven't actually played uh, properly on this world in a very long time. It's actually one from our old series from last year. That's why I use this uh, this world for filming a lot. Okay, let's, let's grab some. And then let's do our final one. This one. Okay. Now right, let's check this out. So I'm going to go down here. This one's cool. I'm glad that this has a separate sprite as well. I feel like uh, separate sprites really make it. So I'll put one there. And then I'll put one there. So I believe this one, you literally just right click the heal. So at the minute it's giving me zero heals. That's fair enough. And then if you click this. Oh no. How's that work then? Reforge machine. Oh there you go. So I wasn't clicking it properly. So can you reforge this? Well, I've got no money. <laughs> I, I guess we'll find out another time. But that's really cool. That's a pretty interesting mod. I probably will add it to Chippy's couch because, you know what? It looks pretty awesome. And then I can get myself a new cloth ear in this world. And hopefully he will be named James. So that's about it for today's Terraria video. I really hoped you liked this blind look at this cool little mod. I'll definitely be adding it to my series in the future. 
So like always, I have two videos to recommend to you guys that I think you might enjoy. My first one is 10 things you may not know about Terraria pets. So the cool thing about this video is I actually spent about two hours editing a five second clip in this video. It's a little clip where the character walks along and all these pets merge and change. It took me two hours to do that and it equals out to five seconds. Kind of crazy. And then if that doesn't sound like your thing, I have another video for you to watch. And this one is about what actually happens when Terraria creates worlds. Like, what is it doing when it says creating world? So there's actually a really cool mod that will show you that. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, by subscribing to Chippy Gaming, you're in the one-stop place for all your Terraria needs. Right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.